Alright guys, welcome back to a new video. Today I have with me an amazing SUV, amazing family car with a lot of great technology, safety features and the material qualities are incredible. Before we start the review, I want to give you some technical data. Also, if you are in Switzerland, around Switzerland, check out Gallicar Garage or carplanet.ch. I will leave the link in the description anyway, if you want to see the car, test drive the car, check them out, check out Gallicar Garage in Bern. Anyway, I will give you the technical data and then I will start the review interior exterior. Also, if you want to sit with the same car, I have a separate video on my channel already. If it's not already, on the channel just click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out but stay tuned because it's really really interesting also on the road i have with me the new renault austral and i have the e-tech full hybrid version and also iconic esprit alpine that means it's the top, top end version, the most expensive version and also the most powerful version and also the version that I totally recommend you to get it. If I will buy this Austral, I will definitely go with this version. It's just fabulous and the collaboration between Renault and Alpine, it's crazy. You will see in this video how many incredible high quality things and materials the car come with technical data i will leave it a little bit for later i want to talk about the price so the basis price the starting price of the car it's forty-five thousand eight hundred francs with all these options here included you can also pause the video and read it out but i will explain you also in the video for example here you have the camera the 360 degrees camera it's included in this price something that is just incredible and i'll show you the camera it's just fabulous also included are the 20 inch rims the led lights normal led lights because the matrix one they are optional adaptive cruise control it's included with all that safety features keyless entrance the other things i will explain you now i want to show you the optional things because the car come also with some optionals you can also read it out here optional for example is the harman kardon speakers amazing sound system 1000 francs extra totally deserve it you have optional 200 francs heated windshield in the winter is gorgeous i will definitely get it as an option panoramic roof it's also amazing it's all over the roof it looks really really premium and nice and also it's much brighter inside the car then you have the head-up display that cost you 650 francs amazing head-up display you will see it i will show you i'm not just saying like that it's really really good resolution it's very nice integrated in the screen much better than in other cars then you have the 404 i'm not sure about that if you really need it 1600 francs the four control from Renault then you have the metallic color 950 this is also something that I'm not sure if you really need it wireless charging for mobile 150 francs totally recommend you to get it and 950 francs is the matrix LED headlights that I totally recommend you because they are great now the final price will be 52,500 francs here at Gallica in Switzerland I will add the price in dollars so you can make also an idea now going to the technical data it's a little bit complicated here but I try to explain you the car come with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line the power of this petrol engine is 131 horsepower but it's also combined because it's a full hybrid it's combined with an electric motor and also a battery the battery capacity it's two kilowatt hour it's one of the biggest battery in a full hybrid on the market so that's a good thing that means the battery and the electric motor will drive the car even more i mean more than normal full hybrids i should say this is a good thing and also the power together will be the electric motor and also the petrol uh, engine together the power it's 199 horsepower 205 newton meters and i will explain you a little bit later consumption it's around 5 liter and i get around 5.4 liters in my test drives uh, check out the test drive video if you want to find out more 113 uh, grams is the emission it's in a class efficient class so it's a very good thing now let's go to the more deep technical data the car come with a 1.2 liter petrol engine three cylinders in line and also it comes with an electric motor the power of the electric motor it's 68 horsepower and that's combined with a two kilowatt hour battery 400 volt lithium battery together produce 199 horsepower 
205 newton meters it's a little bit complicated to calculate those things because they are not that simple as on the one single motor the maximum speed of the car 175 km per hour it's kind of limited 0 to 108.4 seconds also the car it's connected to a six speed automatic transmission it's a special transmission the boot space 430 liters and if you fold down the seats completely you will have 1455 liters now because it's a full hybrid system and it's also an all-wheel drive system uh, the boot space capacity it's a little bit less than you find in other competitor models but it's relatively fine for the technology of the car the fuel tank capacity have 55 liters also the turning circle 10.1 meter the ground clearance 18 centimeters the car come with ventilated brake disc on the front ventilated brake disc on the rear independent type mcpherson suspension in the front and independent multi-link suspension on the rear and 20 inch rims they come standard on this version of the car and the rims look crazy really nice i will show you when we go outside now guys those are the most important technical data if you still have questions ask me down below whatever you want to ask let's start the review and in the end we will make the conclusion as always this is the key with a new Renault logo and also uh, on this side we have the buttons what you can do with those buttons here first of all this is for the trunk you can open the trunk from here you just press it for two three seconds and the trunk will automatically open also you press it for two three seconds and you can release it and the trunk will close not like in other cars where you have to always hold the button another button is for the lights if you press this button you can turn on the lights and the headlights uh, if you want to see it in the nighttime for example or if you want to see uh, where it's your car and the other buttons are for lock and unlock the car what I know Notice the great part is that in the menu you can set up the key it's a keyless entrance that means if you go farther away from the car for example here are like almost seven meters the car will lock for you and if you come closer look at this I don't even press anything and the car will unlock for me and it comes also with electric folding mirrors and right now the door it's it's unlocked it's, it's that simple i like the fact that it comes with electric folding mirrors as standard and also keyless entrance gorgeous i mean those systems are really really good now i want to turn on the lights and we will talk about the exterior of the car all right today it's a super sunny day it's a beautiful day but sadly uh, you probably cannot see so well the lights and the lights on this model that I have with me look really good I mean Renault in the last years really step up the game in terms of light headlights and uh, tail lights uh, they are fabulous so we have everywhere we have full LED so you can expect lovely lovely visibility in the night time in terms of exterior design i choose this white i love the white color combination with the black glossy and this austral that it's the iconic esprit alpine this combination it's gorgeous i mean guys they come with some elements that make the car look really attractive and really nice the size of the car it's also in my opinion this is the perfect suv for driving also in the city it's a perfect all-arounder beautiful attractive nice lines modern nothing to complain in terms of design really really beautiful and you can see the combination between the colors the white with black really stand out and fit really nice together and another element that i like very much about the car are the rims i love those 20 inch rims that come standard on this model they are really really attractive and really sporty looking now if we go closer you can see that the car is split in two colors we have the roof part that start here that it's in glossy sorry about the car guys it's a little bit dirty but i didn't find any wash you can see the wash it's close so i cannot wash it today so sorry about that and let's go forward anyway on the upper part we have the glossy 
black plastic look really nice also in combination with the tinted windows from the side in the back here we have the roof rails uh, the radio antenna look nice modern the spoiler up here look also crazy nice i love the way they integrate it brake light led up here we have a wiper uh, that works quite good i tested before and it works great i like also this new trend glossy plastic around the upper side of the windows glossy plastic between the windows and then we have some glossy plastic that comes down here on the down part although we have some rubber glossy between the windows for control mean it's a four-wheel drive system uh, on the car and other than that everything is simple even the mirrors they choose to make it uh, black led light on the turning signals we have the uh, camera down here for the 360 degrees camera i will show you when we go inside the car also on the upper side here we have the camera and the sensors for light and raining the camera can read the traffic speed limit uh, help that lane assist and all that safety features that i presented in the test drive so check out the test drive for more details other than that kind of the the middle part uh, the body of the car it's white but it comes with some elements and the elements that I find it practical and I find it that looks really nice with the car are those here we have those protection parts around the wheels uh, plastic protection so the great part is that if you scratch it or something happened with the car you can change them very easy and you don't have to repaint the car this beautiful pearl white color look really nice and also they are kind of metallic if you look at the color they, they kind of glow uh, really nice in the sun or in the light so beautiful also you can see the lines here a lot of lines here on the wings and even here sharp edges they try to make it as attractive as possible and of course we have this esprit alpine logo here so you know uh, they work uh, together and they have the best quality from all uh, the version anyway down here again this black glossy on the down part of the door so if you open the door if you hit something down there you will be somehow protected and the great part is that you are protected even when you go inside your pants or stuff like that this area will stay clean uh, always now in the back the same story the same protection you can see it here in the back it looks quite nice in combination and also it continuing on the back side we will go there in the second we have Renault writing right here so you can see immediately the quality it's much more improved from the years before it's kind of a free let me go on the other side it's not so much sun it's kind of a three dimensional shape of the lights here it's led everywhere it looks gorgeous the brake light and the reverse light it's also led and also look at the turning signals also they are following turning signals full led and also it's extended until here in the night time it looks just gorgeous i will try to make a video for in the nighttime to show you down here we have e-tech hybrid so you know which version it is and i like this new logo with austral e so you know this is the e-tech the full hybrid it will have this blue e on it and from the back you can see one more time uh, the back of the car super attractive even the fog lamps that are down here located and we have on the both side they are full led guys so you can see them from every angle i like it very much and look at this the lights for the uh, number plate are led as well and we have the reverse camera here i will clean it a little bit so we can see from inside really cool glossy plastic on the bumper down here six sensors on the rear for parking and all that safety features we have down here if i'm not wrong i'm not sure what is this the reverse light it's another led down there i think it's the reverse light so low i'm not sure about that i will have to check uh, but really cool down here we have also some matte plastic and other than that quite quite simple the exhaust pipe is on the left side and this is the back of the car going here on the right side we have the tank and what i like about the tank it's 55 liters i like the fact that it's an easy fuel so you just have to put it in and then press the button you don't have to open any cap and this is a, a plus this is an extra comfort features that i like very much going from the side the doors quality and the handles it's also very good you can hear the doors they are quite nice quite good uh, also on this side we have the same 
uh, logo here and then going in the front look at the hood really attractive quite sporty with those lines there uh, the grill it's also uh, nicer than before we have this new Renault logo behind this Renault logo we have the radar for adaptive cruise control emergency brake and all that safety features down here we have the camera for 360 degrees camera very nice design here we have some kind of uh, dark chromish squares here and then the air intake and the radiator is there so it's quite quite nice design also the front end here we have the lights as i said one of my favorite part they call it renault led matrix vision you can see they write it down there and if you look at those plastic those elements those plastics little elements they put a lot of uh, until now until a few years now only mercedes and yeah probably bmw porsche and stuff like that they have attention to details but now i see even on renault they give attention to details and this is this is really important that step up the game and also step up the price but look look how nice it looks i mean the turning signals they are really special right and we have this incredible uh, lights in the night time they are fabulous i will try to make a separate video to show you to present you how good they are also in the night time but in general very good lights down here on the down bumper the same story kind of the same design air intakes some glossy plastic on the down part we have real air intakes on the side here you can see the air will go inside there and go outside around the car and that make the car stand out even more from the different from the previous or different more uh, cheap version of the car now in terms of rims as i said they look good they look powerful they are all pin rims you can see writing right there great quality great design ventilated brake discs here the brake calipers are quite simple i will definitely add some kind of different brake calipers with probably alpine logo on them or stuff like that will look even better but ventilated brake this on the front ventilated brake this on the rear they are a little bit smaller here the car come with winter tires on it right now so overall this is the exterior write me down below what do you think about the exterior you think it's nice attractive what what would you change on the car guys write me down below i'm really curious what you would like to be different now i want to show you the engine bay right now because it's a full hybrid sometimes the engine it's working sometimes it's stopping i noticed that the engine it's relatively silent and i like the fact that the car come with this automatic lift gate on the engine bay this is great good quality i see also here they put a lot of quality rubbers protection this is the 1.2 liter petrol engine uh, three cylinders in line 130 horsepower and here is the electronic part electric part with the electric motor and all that stuff 68 horsepower here is the battery 12 volt battery and here we have the liquid cooling and all that stuff here is the oil and here is the liquid for the wipers this is it guys okay really nice to close it really good quality what i notice is that from outside when the engine is running you can hear a little bit of noise i was expect to be a little bit more silent but i guess it's just my opinion maybe the engine is cold maybe it gets more silent also when i test drive the car I noticed that it's really good the sound insulation inside the cabin it's very very good so nothing to complain uh, in terms of sound insulation while you're driving on the highway uh, sometimes you barely notice when the car make transition between the petrol engine and the uh, electric one so yeah from this point of view um, it's quite good nothing to complain going in the trunk I forget to take out uh, my tripod but this is the trunk guys i will take this out you have automatic lift gate as you see before up here we have some 
removed handles, manual handles, you can close it. And you have also this button to close it automatically if you want. Also, the car come with those hydraulic closer here on the side and it's very nice made this design. So they put it up here. So in this way, they leave you more space and much bigger entrance. We have this protection for the trunk here that you can also take it out very, very easy. And I will do that, of course, to show you how much space you have. And actually, let me do now, do it right now because I don't want to stop the video anymore. I will leave it here for a while and I hope it stays, yes. And you can see even better right now what space you have. And the, the space, it's, it's really good. I mean, the entrance, it's super, super big. The downside for some people is that you don't have a flat floor here. You have like maybe five centimeter deepness, but you have some plastic at the entrance and it's relatively big. You have a lot of space on the left side, right side. Also, you have this uh, triangle here. You have a 12 volt port, very useful. You have a light, a normal uh, halogen bulb light. You have some hooks here in both ways. And under the floor, let me show you, you have this uh, sound system, if I'm not wrong. Uh, I'm not sure about that. I'm not sure if this is the sound system or not because it comes with this sound system. I will definitely have to check, but because it's a four wheel drive system and it has this new premium sound system, uh, you don't have a space for a spare tire here, but you have some space around it here. So you can put a few things like medical kit and repair kit as well. So anyway, this is the space down here for the full hybrid system. Now, something that I like very much is the fact that you can fold down the seats from here, from those handles manually. So you just pull it and then the seats will fold down. Something that I don't like here is the fact that you cannot fold the middle part in order to carry long items, you know. This is like a disadvantage for some people. If you want to fold it, you just pull it and then just do it like that. And you can see it's, it's working super, super easy. And you don't have to press it, push it and stuff like that. And all you have to do is just pull it. And this is it. And uh, another thing that I notice here, even though it's a big, big uh, space, I mean, you can fit in here a lot of stuff without any problem, is that you don't have a flat floor. You have this a kind of step here, like six, seven centimeters. But other than that, I have nothing, nothing to complain. Look at the space, look at the glass roof, come optional. Look how beautiful it is and look at how much space you have here. So the space, in my opinion, it's more than enough. Uh, but because it's a full hybrid, some competitors will have more space. That's something for sure. So if you are someone that looks for space and you need more than that, entrance here from the side it's big big enough so you can see the space here you can see one more time from the back the entrance it's gorgeous nothing to say about that plenty of space here you don't have a flat floor that's the, the only disadvantage here uh, and another one is that you cannot uh, carry long items here on the legs room plenty of legs room really really a lot of legs room also the transmission tunnel is relatively small and i like that also if i'm not wrong you can adjust the seats i will show you later forward backward this is the plus of the car and this is very practical let me put everything back and we'll go inside the car let's start with the door before we go inside here we have a big window from one piece tinted window and you can also fold it down until here so it left like three centimeters here uh, but it's more than fine close it it's work really good good quality up here on the door the design of the door first of all it's nice it's really nice it's really futuristic i think it looks really really good and the quality here it's also very good up here although we have plastic this area it's made by plastic we have this chrome very nice integrated here very beautiful i love this handle in glossy black small speaker here we have alcantara gorgeous quality you can see the blue stitches 
blue stitches here from Alpine leather here in this area everywhere the button the handle down here we have plastic but a nice design on the speaker and also plenty of storage room I like that the storage is really good the entrance in the car big enough really big you can see from here one more time that beautiful glass roof that it's all over the roof incredible nice and also you can see the space here in the back look at it a lot of space and I will go inside and I will show you the space also the quality of the seats uh, it's gorgeous we have this Alcantara on the headrest in combination with leather on the side we have the blue stitches from Alpine we have the blue color on the seat belt from Alpine and also here side support in Alcantara and leather this gorgeous combination between leather Alcantara and uh, fabric material it's just fabulous isofix for child you can install two child seats uh, and they are super comfortable the seats are awesome in the middle here we have leather we will I will go there and I will tell you a few words about it here we have an armrest with two cup holders uh, leather also super super good quality behind the front seats uh, we have some kind of a rubber so it's not a plastic that's something that I like because I hate that plastic behind the seats storage space here and here in the middle very useful we have two USB-C and we have those vents so very nice let me go inside now uh, up here guys in the back we have two LED lights small LED lights uh, that you can turn it on and off the quality on the roof it's also uh, quite good it's kind of a stove material but good good quality anyway let me close the door let me go behind myself this is kind of my driving position probably a little bit more in the back the doors quality sound good feel good this is my space on the legs room i'm 173 centimeters by the way as an information so you can make an idea this is the space i can also stretch a little bit the, the legs under the front seat also on my head i have like four fingers over my head uh, so yeah it's relatively fine maybe for a very tall person will be a problem but probably you have to go yourself and test it but i think it's more than fine because you can go even forward a little bit with your legs and then you win more space on the head other than that i feel really comfortable here i have soft material here on the side they have a nice design the seats and it feels quite comfy you have a hook you have a handle up here stove material uh, good visibility outside so nothing to complain it's not perfect but it's good visibility and comfort it's it's quite quite good now if I go in the middle guys I go quite easy because the transmission tunnel is not that big I have like less space three fingers here or where is the glass more if I stretch my hand completely left completely right that means Three person here can stay without any problem, short to medium trips. Down here on the on the on the down part in the middle, it's a little bit more stiffer, but it's it's comfortable. On the back it's more stiffer and more hard, but overall I think I can stay here for medium trips without any problem. Gorgeous view, by the way. The glass roof looks incredible nice and yeah not only the glass roof but guys we will go in the front right now and we will talk about dashboard something that i find a big step forward in comparison let me put my my phone on the side in comparison with other cars company the step that renault made in the last years it's huge in terms of interior and um, dashboard design and multimedia system steering wheel i mean they are really good and not only that the quality is good but also the technology it's gorgeous it's very well very ergonomic very practical the way they design it also uh, in order to have a good visibility uh, they are quite quite good anyway let's go in the front let's talk about the things there. now guys before we go inside in the front we talk a little bit about the door and if you look at the door design it's just super nice like the exterior also the interior gorgeous design i like the design very much this time on the upper side we don't have plastic anymore here it's a soft nice material everywhere then you have this chrome insertion lovely lovely integrated with an ambient light here it's an ambient light that can change the colors depend on the driving mode also we have these black handles really cool Harman Kardon speaker you can see here then we have Alcantara in this area with the stitches again leather here uh, the only plastic that you find it's here on the down part this is the speaker 
storage space more than enough in the front and then we have these buttons some glossy plastic here handle and then we have the buttons for the windows lock the windows electric adjustable mirrors button there in the front and also folding mirror you can adjust them from there now the entrance in the car relatively big also we have a nice beautiful alpine plate here i love this plate aluminum plate it looks so fancy so uh, small and nice aluminum pedals lovely pedals as well i test them and they work really good also here we have the controllers for electric adjustable seats and also you can turn on the massage on your seats really really good system and i like that very simple to use and adjust i want to show you also the seats look at the seat you can see the a from alpine blue stitches lovely seat super comfortable great great combination of sporty and comfort in my opinion and they look really good and not only that they look good but the quality is great here we have alcantara here we have leather leather alcantara and stuff material uh, in the middle here good quality they are super big super bright no problem to sit on them then going forward here we have some storage space we have electronic handbrake auto hold here in this area we have plastic and then we begin with this glossy plastic really really nice looking lane assist traction control open the trunk and also this is the brightness for the screen and up here uh, everywhere on the upper side here we have a soft material so that's something to keep in mind uh, then you can adjust the steering wheel manually from here up down left right i'll show you later and here in this area we have this leather with blue stitches again very good quality now let me go inside the car i like also very much the vans the way they design it it's so unique and so cool you can see them here and also the quality is very good visibility around the windows it's also awesome big mirrors great visibility also you can see one more time here in the back great visibility maybe a little bit of blind spot in the corners but you have a 360 degrees camera and i will show you how good it is uh, you can see in the back one more time the seat and down here we have an armrest leather uh, soft material really good everywhere you press this black button and then you open up a big space where you can add some storage add some stuff here whatever you want to add you can add it there then going forward some glossy plastic here combination with this iceland we have the iceland here and on the iceland you have wireless charging for your phone you can leave it here but it's nice that you can uh, change the iceland put it forward or backward a lot of space also here and then you have also in the front two cup holders and some LED light there and you have two USB-C and a 12 volt port very nice I like the way they designed this center console here it looks really simple clean um, and nice anyway the button for the hazard light the lock button and then we have physical buttons here for the climatic system controllers and I like them very much because they keep this combination between this new multimedia system and physical button this is really good going on the right side as i said soft material everywhere you have this ambient light inserted in the dashboard and it's continuing from the door to the dashboard and also on the dashboard we have alcantara in this area here you can see the blue stitches lovely quality very nice integrated the vents here and also the button to open the glow box the glow box is relatively fine it's not that big but it's it's just fine now going forward start stop engine button again the vents quite nice integrated here uh, in the design of the multimedia system but before i go to multimedia system i want to talk a little bit about the head up display if you didn't see my test drive video check it out because there you can see more information about it but once you set the destination you will see when you drive you will see a nice nice design there also when you activate the autopilot you can see super nice information on the head up display while you're driving and it's great integrated directly on the windshield i love the way they integrated it's very nice blend in there so i think in my opinion it's one of the best very good resolution uh, and very nice colors there so yeah one of the best in my opinion and also the price of it is not that steering wheel up down left right forward backward super simple to adjust gorgeous design on the steering wheel this is the new steering wheel from renault they use it also on other models incredible nice and the fact that they kind of 
cut it here, you know, like a sporty. It allows you to have much better visibility on the head of display. So visibility from the uh, from the driver point of view, it's it's magical. It's lovely. Down here, the same story. We have Alcantara here in this area really cool and then other than that leather you can see the stitches in red and blue lovely incredible quality and the size of it it's gorgeous i love the steering wheel now you have some pedals behind here you probably wonder what they are they are for regenerative brake if you look in the corner of the screen you will see that it will change more regenerative brake right now and if you want less you go on the other side and you go less regenerative brake so they act like uh, this then you have the shift shifter to change the gears It's here kind of the gears you can put it in drive parking or reverse you go up the great part is that it's the same as tesla or mercedes it's very easy to use very nice job no more sticks here big stick uh, inside the cars then you have here controls for the media and the volume and then this is the wiper this multi-sense uh, button for the steering wheel is to change different driving modes if you look down there you will see you have comfort mode echo mode sport mode personal mode and yeah you can change them very easy like that every time you change the different driving mode you can change you will see that it's change also the ambient light inside the cabin of the car quite nice now in terms of uh, buttons here also very nice integrated on the steering wheel glossy plastic but they are physical button once you press it you really feel that they are physical and also here as well it's very simple from here you control the view of the screen uh, and also you see different information and here are the controls for the cruise control and autopilot it's very simple to use them now the screen uh, the digital cockpit it's gorgeous and sometimes you can see in the test drive the the flickering you know but this is from the camera because in real life you don't see anything you can see perfectly in real life uh, they don't have any 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 flickering I want to show you that you can change different views you can see the navigation you can see this kind of autopilot view you can see also the next view let me show you you can see this is kind of the simple view but you can also in this time change and configure it the the right side you can see also this kind of a classic view let me go right now this is the classic view i should say when you see the speed the energy flow but you can change to see the information about the consumption you can see to see the water uh, temperature media the g meter the chassis the tire pressure or the energy flow that shows you what happened with the energy or you can choose to see my favorite view it's the map and in the same way you can you can customize the right and left side gorgeous gorgeous screen i have to say one of my favorite multimedia system and the digital screen on the market and not only that it's great but it uses also the google map you can see right there and the google map work gorgeous you have also the voice command here you can see like no, wait, I have to press it three times. If you hold it, it's for the uh, device, if you connect the device, but you press it. Navigate to Barcelona. Navigating to Barcelona. You can see how fast it's working, faster than, than the phone. It's like the same Android system. It's used the same Android system, the this same Google map as France. on the phone. Verify COVID-19 restrictions. It's it's great. I mean, it works so fast. It's one of the best navigation on the world in a car ever. And it's super responsive. It's super fast. You can see crazy responsive. You have this tablet here in the front uh, that works incredible responsive. I mean, it definitely kill other brands. I don't want to give name, but definitely kill other premium brands in terms of navigation it's it's really really good and fast and i think renault uh step up the game with these uh these systems anyway if you want to delete it you just press this uh, and then exit navigation or remove the navigation and it gets you to the normal amazing 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 uh and it's also connected to the internet it's the same like on the phone and also this tablet here this multimedia act like a tablet you know like an android tablet so you have here shortcuts like navigation then you have the media here you can choose also from radio station or you can connect your uh, music you can go to phone you can connect your phone 
you can go right here to the application here are the application the same as you have on a normal tablet or as you have on your phone you have all the application that you can install and from what i talk with the renault engineers that create this multimedia they tell me that in the future we will see youtube here as well and other application like waze for example or youtube and this is awesome man i mean this is a great feature android auto apple carplay of course device connectivity play store in the future from the play store you can sign in and also take all the application that will work with the car uh, you can see the news you have the map google assistant postcast all that stuff they are working right now uh, already with the car and then if you go to the car here are the most important information uh, about the car that you can change and one of my favorite it's 360 degrees camera that i will definitely recommend you it's incredible the resolution of the camera it's great you can see also on the back you can see from the side and you can see if you turn the wheel you can see even the wheel from the close up so you can avoid hitting your rims or or scratching your rims from the stones or uh, when you park the car i love that and also you have the 360 degrees that shows you perfectly what it's around the car look at this gorgeous and it's so smooth lovely system so great job really like it now we have electric when you go to electric mode you see this energy flow while you're driving you see what happened with the energy with the engines and stuff like that and as i tell you in the beginning you can see the electric motor it's somehow connected or connected to the transmission or it's integrated in the transmission somehow i'm not sure how this system work but i will go into detail maybe i will make a video about it now anyway here is the car you can go to consumption you can see the consumption here or you can go even to the settings to see more information about the hybrid and stuff like that uh, then you go to seats of course the seats come with massage the car come with massage on your seat heated seats down here you can see you have free position heated seat for you and the passenger in the front heated steering wheel down here and you have heated windshield what premium car for sure anyway easy access electric seats you passenger driver incredible i mean incredible technology then you have the air quality here the air purifier if you want to purify the the air inside the car you can do that it comes with a great great air filter and i like that this is a great great option then you have the driving echo here on the driving echo uh, it's telling you a lot of information about how you drive and how much you can drive and how much you drive in electric mode that's awesome so for example from a distance of 1000 kilometers 280 kilometer was drive only in electric mode and this is fabulous here is the score it gives you some tips on how to drive echo and how much savings you made let me stop this air purifier for a second ah why did it stop stop the car okay now let me get this out driving echo you already see it driving assistance systems here are all the safety features of the car for example you have like following distance uh, you can activate disactivate it you have blind spot warning you have driving driving monitoring alert if you fall asleep lane assist lane keeping assist you can also activate disactivate it from here part two anticipation here and alert on vibration if you want alert and stuff like that on the lane speed management you have it also here you can set it up and advanced settings i love those settings to be honest i really really love uh, those settings i think they are super super useful i try it in the test drive if you want to see it check it out the parking assistance system it has this automatic parking that help you park the car automatically i did a video or i tried to do a video in the future i will do a video in the future about that to see how the car will drive itself and then we have also the vehicle on the vehicle you have so many settings like access the car how you like the hands free to work welcome to life you can see here automatic mirrors how to do it when you come to the car driving lights and wiping wipers cockpit also head-up display information brightness position screen brightness turn indication volume there are so many cool features that you can set it from here the tire pressure you can reset it and updates if the car 
have some update uh, to make. And then you have the settings, the main settings where you can change the language, uh, the sound settings here are all the sound settings, the units, uh, network, internet, location, date, storage. Uh, if you see the system here, the language and all that stuff, you can change them from here. It's incredible. And also settings, uh, updates, you will find out here, guys. The navigation is very simple to work with. You just go from here, the vent speed, the temperature and all that stuff are down here. Anyway, up here you have a mirror. The visibility, let me show you, it's quite good in the mirror. It's good in the back there, so it's not that bad. And it's also quite nice, the mirror with tiny, nice edges. Up here we have a glass support, I love that. The glass support is super useful, I wish I had it on my car. And you also have this mirror that you can see your child kids in the back there super awesome glossy plastic up here some LED lights with touch and you have some microphone and SOS button and the controller for the uh, roof the glass roof can be closed from here you can close this curtain or open the way you want and also up here we have this LED light lovely LED light a white light with a mirror look gorgeous handle and also you can see the roof uh, color it's a little bit gray and I like the fact that it's also continuing on the a pillar with the same gray color and Yeah, it looks good the quality. It's, it's really really good Also, they add a vent here that send the air around the window so it will defrost even faster Guys, I guess that was the video. I hope you enjoy the video. I hope you find it useful Also, if you still have wait a second if you still have information if you still uh, need more information or you have question ask me down below whatever you want to ask if you want to see the car if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out Gallicker garage carplanet.ch I will leave the link in the description if you want to buy it see it test drive it if you're around Bern or wherever in Switzerland check out Gallicker garage now guys my rating for this Renault Austral e-tech full hybrid Esprit Alpine from 1 to 10 taking into consideration price offer it's around 53,000 if I'm not wrong with all these safety features all this technology I will give it a 10 why 10 because if we take into consideration heated seat heated steering wheel heated windshield this multimedia system screen head-up display quality of the seats exterior design light uh, and then you go to Mercedes, do you want the same car or BMW, you pay over 100,000 for sure. So that's why I give it a 10. Of course, they have to improve a few things. For example, the trunk space is complicated, but I wish it has a flat floor, a little bit more space anyway. But other than that, pff, nothing to complain. I mean, it's a great car. Anyway, that was the video. If you want to see the test drive with this car, uh, the video it's already on the channel. If it's not, it will come next days. If you want to see the notification when the video will come, click the subscribe button to see the notification when those videos will come out. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate that you're watching my video. Thank you again, guys, to all of you. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. I will really appreciate that. That means a lot for me because I put so much work in these videos. I need. I need like one day to make those videos and oh, it's not that easy and I would really appreciate a like for you guys or a share or anyway, thank you for being here. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.